Good afternoon, King Prep. First, we would like to thank the honored guests, staff, and teachers of CUNY Prep, our awesome class of 2011, and most importantly, Ms. Ristenbach, for showing us all support, encouragement, and even at times, personal assistance. I would like to start by congratulating our fellow graduates. I want to congratulate you all on making it this far on leaving what you left behind in order to make a new start here at CUNY Prep and to make a difference in your life and in the lives of others. Woo. It's pretty funny how we all come from different places, different backgrounds, and we all have different stories. But today, we all graduate as one class. As Maya Angelou once said, there is no greater agony than bearing an untold story inside you. But all of us sitting here today, graduating, tells the whole story. My first impression on CUNY Prep was that this school doesn't play. <laughs> then when I walked into orientation, I saw Ms. Ristenbach walk in. I could clearly see that she didn't play either. <laughs> the work we received this cycle is very challenging, but we didn't complain because all of us once in a while loves a good challenge. The first day we all arrived, we saw each other as competition. But if you look to the person to your left, then look to your person to your right. And see beside you and behind you that this is your family. The teachers and staff, including Ms. Ristenbad, are indeed our parents. The experiences we all shared in CUNY Prep helped us to mature from boys and girls into young adults. The work given helped us to, to excel in many different ways, showing our strengths and weaknesses as the teachers helped us strengthen them. All the teachers, the staff members, and our principal actually showed they cared about us, our education, and most importantly, our progress towards obtaining success in the near future. And for that, we truly thank you all. especially our teachers, Mr. Alexander, Ms. K. Wilson, and Mr. Barbier. Also, Mr. Guerra, Mr. Reynolds, and Ms. Miss Gordon Lobo. Know what? I'm gonna like to thank all of y'all. I like to do shouts to all teachers, all staff members, including school safety. I like to thank my mom. I love you. And don't worry, when I get home, I'm gonna wash those dishes. I would like to thank my late mom, and I would like to thank my aunt, because I'll never forget how she raised me my entire life. And I can't, well, we can't forget Mr. Foreman, Mr. Grantham. And we definitely can't forget Mr. Mack. Good memories. Like, I actually remember always, every, every day in Mr. Goethe's class, he said some funny jokes. Some funny jokes. 
<laughs> but I also remember when I went to Six Flags, I experienced my first ride, and I almost cried on it in the Green Lantern. <laughs> My memory from Six Flags was laughing at him for almost crying. <laughs> but my most funny and probably embarrassing memory is when I first walked into the school and when they gave us IDs. Two times in one day, I mistakenly tried swiping the bathroom with my food stamps card. <laughs> He wouldn't have noticed if it was a food stamps card if I didn't tell him, like, you know, put it down. Ah, ah, man. All of us here today at graduation have just taken the next step in life. So we have to keep climbing until we reach the end of the ladder. The difference between a person who is successful and someone who isn't is not the lack of strength, it's not the lack of knowledge, but rather it's a lack of will. Indeed so, we just finished crossing the finish line, but there are many more races to run because those who usually chase their dreams are the ones who usually catch them. Education is not preparation for life. Education is life itself. And then when I was told when I was younger, knowledge is power. In class of 2011, we are the most powerful. Hey, one more thing. And now I would like to, and now I like, we'd like to present a video showing all the good times we've had in City Prep.